Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to share tips and tricks for Scalar School of Technology interview round. So I'm covering here maths interview specifically. Then uh, like here I will share few common tips also. Then I will cover dreams and aspiration uh, that interview tips and tricks in next video. So let's begin. So let's cover about maths interview. So as name suggested, this will be about maths and coding. So for maths, don't like stress out so much that how then typical and how education of maths will be. Let's begin. So first, there is two mode offered to you online and in person interview. So whatever your preference, according to your preference, you can choose. Mostly students is opting for online mode. So for online mode, try to check your internet connection, camera, phone, microphone. So the checklist, how you are making checklist about this. So before interview, you will get a pre-call. There is already a schedule meet 30 minutes before the interview. So always keep checking your mail and the meetings. So this interview, like before interview, there will be someone who check that your network is working, your camera, mic is all OK or not, and your availability. So check that and try to join every meeting 10 minutes before. So what happened in Rudraksh case, like we struggle to join the meeting because I'm still a student. My ID was like uh, I referred him earlier. So at that time I use my scalar student ID. So that dashboard, it is coming to my dashboard and we are struggling to join his meeting. But in the clumps and all that, he so don't if uh, something miss happen like internet issue or anything so try to be on call with counselor or the people who are helping you from the team so don't uh, stress out if something like uh, not going according to your plan so there will be a before the meeting everything will be checked so try to be active on that even your interview join 10 minutes before so here the tip number one in NSET, there is a learning ability section. So now the uh, paper is changed. There is a complete learning ability section of 65 marks. So when you are giving the test in uh, like during examination, write on rough paper also what topic you are understanding there and what type of questions. So write roughly, and after the after completing the test write correctly that rough pages go like make it fair notes and then start searching on google so maybe it's a binary or array or some con concept try to search it on google and try to understand the concept you can use youtube videos to um, like build your understanding regarding the topic so this is the first step and then there is also one thing here i want to share when you join interview so first thing even in offline interview or online interview and even in general like what we do we do greetings so greet every interviewer so uh, before it was like one instructor is taking one student's interview now for some students there is like um, many students like many interviews like three or two interviewers are taking the interview of one student so this is like they are very selective about student so greet everyone so one rule in upsc what i learned in ssb uh, coaching that first greet a lady then other people so this you can apply here, but like relax and greet everyone. That important thing is your introduction. 
so here the tip is write your introduction on paper before going to interview yes i am assuming that you are 12 or like uh, 12 plus students this is your first interview so be prepared write your introduction write answers of few questions before the interview so the introduction is one of them so there is like lots of time like in the pressure and like after seeing instructor or interviewer like students are like um, um they forget about like uh, they who they are how to greet how to introduce so uh, to avoid that prepare your introduction check youtube video how to introduce yourself check the chronology your name your about your parents about your school and that kind of thing so prepare your introduction so here there is a chance that it's not like he or like instructor will ask you introduce yourself so here is like after greeting the instructor is also introducing himself and like you or you will get chance to introduce yourself so it's like a conversation what happens like in sometimes when we already prepared and if we get a question like hey could you please uh, tell me about yourself then like some, maybe i uh, now i am student okay my name is uh, i am like ratu tote ki like as like every line i am utilizing like uh, implementing like a lot of minute in introduction don't do this like make it a conversation if they ask you to, so whatever comes in your mind Uh, you already uh, prepared your introduction so go on chronology you can use your hand gesture also so don't uh, use mobile and like in emergency case you can use but try to avoid this as much as po uh, possible and you already like you will have a pre check for before the interview so in that they will guide you so in interview yeah keep a notebook and pen so i told you use hand gesture don't like come close to camera like this and like this no stay calm whatever your style if you like this it's okay if you are like you have a pen you, this is your style okay it's perfectly okay it's not like they are like completely judging you and monitor you it's not like that whatever your style be yourself like completely yourself now here's the one thing can i ask something or like uh, oh, i'm not able to understand this question ask your doubt clarify before answering anything so whenever uh, like in even in future if you are giving a interview if you are not able to understand the question ask him could you please repeat the question maybe there is issue with your microphone you are not getting the voice properly so you can ask in background noise so you can ask them and they will happy to repeat the question and make it simplify if you are not able to understand the language the jargons like sometimes you may might feel that क्या ही पूछ लिया ये तो कभी सुना नहीं सो यू कैन आस्क देम टू सिंप्लीफाई एंड दिस इज द मैथ्स इंटरव्यू सो देर इज हाई प्रॉबिलिटी दैट यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द वर्ड्स द मैथ्स लाइक प्रॉबिलिटी एंड समथिंग फ्रॉम लाइक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक बट अगर अच्छे से बार भी नहीं पढ़ी सो यू कैन आस्क देम टू सिंप्लीफाई नेवर सी नो सो इट्स नॉट लाइक नेवर सी नो ये वॉट आई मी so if interview uh, interviewer is asking you something and you are directly saying no i don't know the answer so never approach like in such answer such answer never so you can think take a time take some time seconds to evaluate the question and if you are not able to recall try first first try if you are not able to recall you can say sorry not able to recall at the moment or like could you please 
explain it again like could you please help me out you can use this words you can ask them so this is the one of the major tip here and this is the one of the major concern also we and like everyone every interviewer is like checking your approach so before interview like like before nset exam they give you a pre 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 kit to prepare for the exam and same approach here like they are also team scalar team is also providing you a pre personal interview documentation so you read it three times four times understand what they want from, from what they want from you from the interview so here interview uh, interviewer asked you something and mm. that is like the high possibility that they are asking the same question uh, that you have learned the concept from nset exam that learning ability where they are teaching you something the exam is teaching you something so here now i got a question like um, x okay like i got a question now i am using my copy and pen like notebook and so there is what is like worst case okay blah 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 blah, blah. i am taking minutes to write the answer solving the answer i can take like 10 minutes like it's your interview it's like uh, you have uh, time to answer but interviewer is sitting for 10 minutes he is what he will do he, they will like they are seeing you just like right? and you are busy in solving so here more than your answer the interviewer need is to check how you are able to approach whatever comes first in your mind after listening to the question you are feel free to discuss with the interviewer ask him like him or her that am i correct then proceed they will guide you no you are going wrong or okay yeah this might be solution you can try then try and share the steps that will be like good thing so try to study about algorithm so step step steps how to solve equation go and read about this and here you can make a algorithm also like these are the steps what i want to do for solving the equation so try to share the approach so this is like magic trick what i want now interviewer uh, asked you lots of question okay even feel free to ask the questions in like middle of the in- mid of the interview if you find any doubt you want to clarify i am repeating this again and again because most of the time students even like in when like software engineer like sd2 or sd they also give they feel hesitate should i ask or not never hesitate to ask or never hesitate to clarify your doubt okay so here is a magic trick you can see now the interview is over now it's your chance to ask a question to interviewer so prepare two questions like yeah before the interview already keep prepared already your two question like uh, it may be from what you are study like that con- concept or anything or regarding the scalar school of technology or maths or anything about your career because that person the interviewer is at different level of course higher level he will guide you like best possible way right so whatever your doubt write it because if you asked him like maybe here the chance that you are english or like uh, uh, um 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 this will take a lot of time to form the question so make few questions two questions before and if time permits you can ask two question but like uh, if time is not right ask one question so uh, you can say like uh, could do you please share like i want to share yeah. one doubt is it possible to if you have like you feel that time is up already and 
they, you got you were allotted only 30 minutes so for interview 30 30 minutes is for the interviews so if you feel that doubt that time is already up you can't ask the question ask them like can like if you allow i want to ask a question now ask your question the trick here is now <laughs> after listening to interviewer try to summarize that answer here is like here the meaning from my tip is you are sharing what you learn on the spot here the interviewer share the answer and like uh, i feel like from my experience the instructor from in, uh, scaler they give a detailed answer they give you an explanation and points like it makes like uh, you are if um, you are not aware of the language they try to make a simple answer for you so after listening to answer try to uh, approach them again that uh, sir what i understand from your answer is that so here is another thing like a benefit that you are sharing what you learn from them and another thing is there is chances that miscommunication the teacher ne ye padha diya tumhe aaya ki nahi so if you feel sometime this like nahi samajh aa raha or anything so if you are repeating what you understand this will help teacher also okay or he also he can correct no no this you are taking it in wrong understanding so they can correct you so this is another benefit but the trick here is to share what like your learning ability so <laughs> this is my tips for maths interview so keep practicing keep like revising whatever you got in nset and like utilize that rough notebook that and like also like test khatam ho gaya to aisa nahi and kar liya write it down what question in learning ability and what are like most probably they are asking in maths so try to revise that concepts only and all the very best hope this will help you and you can check my another video also all the very best again thank you